Hi, this is Jeff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the Facebook cover templates and the Facebook timeline templates. Um, I have one opened here, and I've designed these in a way that they're really easy to edit. So all you basically have to do is uh, find the layer, and each one is uh, numbered, so you can find them easily and they correspond to the number of the layer here in your layers palette. Um, these all use smart objects, so basically you just have to double click on the smart object it's this little small square icon on the bottom of your layer double click that and it'll open up um, that layer smart object and uh, I have a few images here that I've selected and I'm just gonna go and copy or select all copy go back to that smart object and paste my image in then I'm going to zoom out and resize it to where I want it to be. Click enter to make those changes. And uh, basically these use a clipping mask. So what you're going to want to do is just basically drag, you can easily drag this photo down and then deselect that one and click save. You can delete this one if you want. Or once that you once you paste it in your image, you can right click, and it says release clipping mask here. But when you're first setting it, it will say create clipping mask. And so what that does is create it. It basically layers your image over this box that I've created, and creates a clipping mask over it. So it um, shows only what's in this black box. So once you've done that. Just click uh, Control S for to save it, and then you can go back and you can see that it's easily updated. Easily updated. So let's go through and do the next one. Put this one in the middle. So I'm selecting all, copying it, and I'm just going to close it. Then I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to resize it. And then again, you can like right click and create clipping mask, or you can just drag it down and then deselect the layer that was there and delete it. And then click Control S for save, close it, and there you see it's updated. And then I'm going to do the last, the last photo, copying it and closing it. So once you save these, like this one, you can close it so you're not getting confused. Um, so I'm back on this one. I'm going to paste it in, resize it, Control T. If you're working on a Mac, I believe it's Command T. Dragging that layer down so that it's a clipping mask over this shape. Deleting that saving it, closing it, and there now you have a totally updated Facebook cover um, image that you can upload. And uh, these are the exact size for Facebook dimensions, so I've created a fake account here that I've uploaded one of the other pre um, templates over, so you can see that it looks nice. And in this bundle I've uh, included some timeline images and these are all sized perfectly so they show up and fit the whole entire uh, box here which is 504 pixels wide the templates are 1008 pixels wide and I'll show you why I've done that if you create images that are 504 pixels wide and then you export them to that same 504 by 504 when you click on them they don't get larger um, if you wanted to allow people to click on that image and then, you know, have a better view, you can export the images as uh, 1,008 pixels wide, and then you can see once you click on these, they expand. So I think that's kind of nice. So you can either export them at 504 pixels wide, 
504 by 504 or 1008 by 1008. And these timeline images are all numbered the same way and are just as easy to edit so you have corresponding numbers to the corresponding layers. And these this one in particular uses a brush clipping mask. So I'm just going to click on this first layer, um, click on the smart object, you double click, and that's going to open this up. And I'm, I'll just paste in that last image that I had. And I'm going to resize it. And then you drag that underneath that main image, turn this eye off, and then you can delete that. And then you click Save, and then you go back, and then you can see how it's easily updated. So you go through those and export it. When you're on, when you're exporting images for Facebook, Facebook does its own image compression. So you really want to upload um, JPEGs that are not compressed. So when you're saving these. And this goes for the cover um, image or cover template as well. You'll want to go to File. And this is Adobe CS6, uh, by the way. This works in CS4 and up. Um, you're going to go to Save for Web. Try to resize this so you can see it. But when you're exporting this, again, you can export it at the full 1008 pixels wide but you want to reduce as much compression as you can so or use as little compression as you can so you want to go to maximum which is 100 you'll see the pictures or the images almost 870 K and save that to your desktop and then once you upload it to Facebook they'll do their own compression on it so it'll, they lower the size of their images so it's better to work with a little bit larger images that are a little bit uh, higher resolution um, you don't want to do compression you don't want to do that much compression on these images before you upload them so that they look as crisp as possible so you just want to save that to your desktop and then go back and then you can upload these and uh, I've really created these for photographers or really anybody that wants to create um, images for their clients um, Because once you do a photo session, you can either use these as upsells, say um, you can tell your future prospective clients that they get one of these images free or maybe several of them free or however many you want and that you'll create a cover photo for them. Because the first thing that clients do um, that you may know is uh, take some of the images that, that you've shared with them and then upload them to Facebook that you know people want to share that you know share their new photos so this is a way to give them something professional um, that's a lot better looking uh, and then of course you can always use these yourself and I've created a kind of a header image a fake image here and then you know the cover photo to show you an example of what this could look like for your page or for a clients page And then one other thing is, if you want to include your logo in here, any one of these, any one of these smart object layers can be converted into a logo. So you can turn this whole image right here into a logo, or you can fill them all up with images and then place your logo um, how you normally do, how you normally watermark your images. You can just do that. So and then you can all you can do these any way you want you can do them all photos or you can uh, mix match and make uh, designs with a pattern like I've done with this cover photo I've put in succulents and stuff to break it up um, and I think it looks really nice so so that's basically it um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to email me hope that was helpful and uh, thanks for watching